Hey guys, so today's video is going to be a makeup tutorial. I posted a picture on Instagram about a couple weeks ago of this look that I did when I was going out. And a lot of people seemed to like it and was like, please do a tutorial on it. So of course you ask and you shall receive. So the look that I posted was pretty much around this new lipstick that I picked up from MAC. And it's called Morange. And I love it. It's a gorgeous, bright orange lipstick. It's an amplified color from MAC. It's just absolutely gorgeous. Gorgeous. And I know I said that word a lot, but really, I'm saying the truth. Really. It's gorgeous. Like, it's so pretty. You have to say it with, like, an English, an English, uh, New York accent. You gotta say gorgeous. So, yeah, this whole look was around this lipstick. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed this makeup look. And look out for my giveaway video. I just have to go pick up the prize. I think I'm going to pick it up definitely tomorrow. And hopefully film the video this week. So I can get you guys all into the prize and the thank you that I wanted to give you guys for again subscribing to me and writing me comments and really showing me a lot of support on my YouTube channel. And also check out my blog which I'm really trying to update almost every other day. I'll put the link either across my face or down here below. So yeah, um, if you guys want to see more, more of Morange, and you guys want to see how I paired Morange up with this look, then keep on watching. So the first thing we're going to do is make sure that you prime your eyelid. And then for a base to really make our brown eyeshadow pop, I'm taking a NYX Black Bean Jumbo Pencil. Alright, so once you have that on, you just want to go ahead and take some tape. And you just want to put this on the outer corner of your eye. And this technique will help you get a nice sharp line and also clean up some of the uh, fallout that we're probably going to have. So I'm going to take NARS Galapagos Eyeshadow, which is this gorgeous brown eyeshadow with flecks of gold in it. So make sure that you tap off any excess because you're probably going to have a lot. And you're just going to pack this color on your lid. Make sure you pat it and you don't swipe it. So once you have the desired amount of eyeshadow you wanted to put on your lid, you're just going to go ahead with a blending brush and you're just going to blend out all the harsh lines. And then to get rid of more harsh lines and create more depth in our eye look, I'm going to go in with Texture Eyeshadow from MAC. It's like a nice warm brown. I'm just going to softly apply this above the Galapagos. And just softly blend it all out. Now if you want to pack on a little bit of black eyeshadow, you can. So I'm just going to take a little bit and just pack it on the outer corner. So for our brow bone, we're going to take a really nice shimmery color. And I always like to go in with rice paper. Alright, so now we're just going to peel off the tape. So next I'm going to go in with a Clinique Gel Cream Liner. So now for eyeliner, I'm going to take MAC Smolder Eye Pencil, which is one of my favorite eyeliners. And we're just going to put this in our waterline to really make this nice and black and smoked out and sexy. 
and also on our tight line as well. With a pencil brush, you just gonna wanna smoke out your lower lash line. So for mascara, I'm going in with L'Oreal's Voluminous Carbon Black, one of my holy grails of mascaras. But I only like to put this on my top uh, lash line because whenever I put it on my bottom lash line, it always seems to run and give me raccoon eyes, which I hate. So I just clump it on the top line. Bottom lashes, I like to use L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara. Alright, so here's the finished I look, loves. Alright, and I will zoom out and finish up the rest of the face. Alright, so I already applied my foundation and I used L'Oreal True Match Lumi, which I love so much. So I'm going to show you guys a really quick um, highlighting and contour technique that I use. And if you want to see a more specific video on this, just let me know in the comment box down below. So I'm taking MAC Studio Sculpt Concealer in NW25, which I'm practically already out. Then I go back in with my new favorite. It's the Maybelline... Oh, like the letters like scratched off of it. But it's this Dream Lumi one from Maybelline. I love this thing. So you just kind of twist the cap. And I am going to make pretty much a V shape with this one. So I bring my concealer really low with this one because it's lighter. So it's really going to brighten up my under eye area. And then I just take it down my nose and put a little bit on my cupid's bow. So a product like this you can blend out with your finger, you can blend it out with a beauty blender. I like to use my Real Techniques brush so I'm just gonna go ahead and blend this out. So for contouring, I'm going to use just a large tapered blending brush. And I love this NYC bronzer color wheel. So I swirl my brush in the darker colors. And I suck in my cheeks. And you're pretty much going to take from where this hairline is your side. Like I like to call it my sideburn. And we're just going to bring it down in this direction. So... Alright, for blush, I'm using my favorite, my go-to. It's probably going to be in my favorites for the next two months. It's NARS. It's called Madly. I'm just going to go ahead and apply this gorgeous orange color by MAC. It's called Morange. And then from NYX, I'm just going to take my hot red lip pencil. Alright, so here is the finished look. Morange, our new friend. Morange is beautiful on its own. It's like a bright, bright orange. If it's too much for you, you can do as I did. Apply a red liner. Put a bit of red lipstick around it so it looks kind of like an ombre effect with the red and then the orange in the center. It looks really pretty. Um, I love this with a nice brown smoky eye. I just think it's gorgeous. So... This is my creation. I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial. Um, excited for those of you that did request it when I posted a picture of it on my Instagram. And a lot of girls were like, please do a tutorial on this. So here you go, girls. I did it. 
So I hope you guys enjoy this video. Thumbs up, please. Subscribe, comment, chit chat with me. I love talking to you guys. And until next time, bye.